as we go through the next couple of days, probably more comfort food days than not. What you need to know, planning to get out and about this evening, you have to, and even tomorrow, cool and damp and breezy weather continues tomorrow. More of the same on Monday, and we're talking improvement, albeit very slow and gradual improvement by the middle of next week. Take a look at the radar scan right now. We did have a little bit of a lull late morning through early afternoon, and even a break or two in the clouds, but before anybody got all excited, we were watching again the clouds and the showers coming back in, and now that cold air, just the floodgates kind of opening up on northerly winds, and that will carry us through tonight and through tomorrow and into Monday. Right now, we're only 53 degrees, wind north at 15, driving in that cold air. The dew point the same, so it's damp outside. I wouldn't call it muggy, but it is, when you, especially underneath those rain showers, and that will be what you're waking up to tomorrow morning. Again, more of the same with the muggy, damp conditions. Looking across the area right now, the other thing we're watching is that temperature drop. We saw 70s yesterday. Now we're 60s and then 50s. And this uh, graphic is going to get a little more eye-opening later on tonight into tomorrow morning when our temperature tumble gets down into the 40s. If there's any saving grace, and we're trying to find a little bit of a silver lining here, is that with the clouds and the wind for tomorrow, for Monday, for Tuesday, we're not going to have a real threat for frost or freeze. And again, it's good news, but if you're out about tomorrow morning or if you're out this evening, wind chills are going to be a bit of an issue. A lot of you already have those great Halloween decorations out there, the skeletons and the ghosts and the witches. You might want to kind of batten them down or kind of wade down that broomstick as we're looking for tonight. The winds to pick up and be rather gusty, 20 miles an hour plus and even blustery into tomorrow morning. But notice the absence of showers, 8 o'clock to noon for that marathon tomorrow morning. Spectators, extra layer, a good idea. Runners, you're probably going to be okay except for those northern bound tracks when you're right into the wind. As we look at the rest of the day, there's a chance of a shower back in the afternoon and mid 50s. Temperatures starting off in the 40s, struggling with the clouds. Mid morning, there are a couple of showers out there, but they're a little more numerous in the second half of the afternoon. You may even see a break or two in the overcast, but that's going to be few and far between. That cloud cover, that moisture we're talking about, still lingering into Monday, although the chance of a shower decreases, so that trend continues. Less chance of showers, less clouds as we get through Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. But we're already tracking the next weather change by next weekend. And one other thing to consider, the longer term through the end of the month, is that temperatures are going to be trending in the right direction, above normal for that time frame, and the precipitation is going to be at or below. So a little warmer and a little drier. And after this weekend, I think everybody won't have a problem with that. Forecast for the next seven days, Sunday to Monday, a couple of showers. The wind will be a factor tomorrow, decreasing on Monday. There's the sunshine back Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, and the chance of a shower, Dom, our record could be on the uh, line this Friday. We're 9-0, high school football, but looking at the weekend forecast, hopefully the shower's out for that game on Saturday.